Okay, so we're going to talk about why I'm rocking right now. And eh, I'm living on a boat. That's the reason I'm rocking right now. It has been quite an experience. Oh my God. When I say even just to like getting food, to taking a hot shower, uh, keeping your food from spoiling, using a bathroom, it has been an experience. It's almost like camping in a way if, if you've ever been camping. I've never been camping, but after looking up all the materials that I need, I found that I'll just need basically the stuff that I use for camping. So I have a hot sh water shower bag. Uh, I just dropped my phone and cracked it again. <laughs> I have a uh, working toilet now. Uh, I have a, sto a little, what do you call it, like a propane two burner stove on board now. And it has just been a journey. It is unbelievably, I have a solar panel also, as you can see right out there. It has been a journey trying to learn how to actually live on a boat and the stuff that comes with it. I woke up yesterday, it was a frog on my little dinghy boat that I have out there. I have a smaller 14 foot boat and I'm on a, I live on a 29 foot boat. And then the morning before the morning before that, there was a giant iguana just chilling. I didn't even know that they could swim. Giant iguana just sitting there chilling on my little dinghy boat. So I pushed it off with a stick and it just terrified me. I, mean, I didn't know that those things can jump and I was like my, my boy was like yeah sometimes they get on your boat too so they climb up the uh, mooring uh, rope and they come up on on the deck and they'll be sitting there like sunbathing it is insane so I don't like iguanas I don't like stuff that slithers and, and you should have saw how I swam away I was terrified but it, it went away. I just don't want to see another one on board. Uh, the frogs, I don't too much care about. It doesn't matter to me. I can get those off easy. But, like, even, like, transporting food and water here, transporting, uh, man, there's a helicopter. Transporting, transporting like, batteries and stuff like that uh, on board uh, because I, don't, I can't just pull up to a dock because you got to pay. Most of these docks are private and then, the other ones you have to pay for a lot like six hundred dollars a month or more but my main one of my biggest reasons for moving here is because so for one i i talk about it on my instagram i pretty much stopped dating completely like no dating whatsoever i found that when i started dating that my bank account would go pew, and it wouldn't go up it would either stay at a uh like right here it'll stay steady or it'll start to go down and that's because not just the fact that i was spending money going out uh it's the fact that i wasn't making money and i was also giving up my time uh when i could have been either being more productive or you know uh, learning to so when a big, bigger, better opportunity comes, I can take that bigger, better opportunity. I wasn't doing that. I was spending that time on dating. Got rid of dating virtual, like almost completely, like no dating at all. Uh, and that's within like the last like six months, six, seven months. The other thing uh, I gave up that a lot of people don't know, I gave up, uh, and this is the hard one, <laughs> sex. Not celibate, I am not celibate. But I pretty much, uh, I virtually just like, I just gave up sex because that is another thing that took up time because what you gotta do, you gotta go on a date. Uh, well, you don't have to, I guess you can just bang people out, but you like, oh, that sounds horrible saying. But you have to go on a date. You have to, um, you know, spend money going out on a date. And then also time, like again, the biggest thing wasn't even the money. It's the time that it took, the missed opportunities of uh, going on these dates when I could have been doing something or meeting people that'd be more productive to my life instead of I ain't gonna say it, some of some of them was a waste of time I'm not gonna lie but some of them was just like it was just me missing out on opportunities uh, when I could have been elsewhere doing something more productive for my life as soon as I got rid of all that oh my god my income just like skyrocketed I started running opportunities I was like Jesus Christ if I was dating this girl uh, you know, any girl, whatever at that time, I would have missed out on so many opportunities, profitability, profitable opportunities. 
And then also, even the opportunity to buy this boat, this probably would have been taken because somebody wanted to buy this boat. And I got this boat probably 12 hours before somebody else. And what's crazy is this girl, she asked, she asked me if I wanted to, um, you know, if I wanted to, uh, like, she asked me to go out. If I wanted to go out with her, she's going to take me out. And like something in my body, something in my chest was just like, bro, do not go. Like she fine, you know, she's a nice person, whatever, whatever, but do not go. And I'm in the middle of buying this boat. It's like, bro, take care of your business and then, you know, handle that other business later. And that's what I did. Uh, I mean, actually, I didn't even end up seeing her again, even after I bought this boat. Uh, but that just kind of shows you, like, everybody's temporary. She was there for, I don't know what reason, and I didn't go. I was able to get this boat before somebody else bought it and, and got it 25% less than what the original price of it was. Uh, it would have been a missed opportunity if I would have, if I would have went with her, uh, and I would have been sick. So that was one thing. I just got rid of all my, uh, well, and I want to mention also a lot of, I am living here now because I wanted to reduce my expenses. So on top of the dating and saving my time and saving my money, I also, uh, before even I stopped dating, I started reducing all of my small expenses, all of my little expenses that I can get rid of per uh, week, per month. Uh, I just started getting rid of them. I was like, do I really need this? I wrote everything down. I even got a book right now that I'm writing. Oh, don't drop the phone again. That I'm writing down right now that you can't see it, but I'm writing down all the, I wrote down all the expenses that I had and then I wrote down, oh, what's with this autofocus, I messed it up. Now, then I wrote down all of the um, expenses that I had, and then I wrote down all the expenses that I have now. And I reduced my monthly expenses. And of course, this is taking away rent also, taking rent off the table also, because I don't pay any rent. To live out here on the water is, is completely free. Uh, I reduced my expenses by, what was that? Two thousand. I reduced my monthly expenses by two thousand two hundred dollars. Is that right? Two thousand two hundred dollars. I reduced my monthly expenses by two thousand two hundred dollars, and I even started. I was just scratching my hair. My hair looks terrible. I'm gonna cut my hair in a minute. But I, I even that was even one of the first things that I cut was my um my haircut expense because that was like thirty dollars every two weeks, sixty dollars a month. And I just completely cut it out because I can do what he was doing. I can lie myself. I know it look crazy right now because I haven't done it in like a month. But um, I, I reduced all my expenses completely by uh, $2,200 a month. And then I started putting that money into the stock market, which took my... <laughs> I don't even want to tell y'all. Y'all might come out here and rob me. Oh my God. But I took my expenses and uh, I ended up only paying... That's a nice little dinghy. Y'all see that dinghy? <laughs> so I took all my expenses. Let's see if we can catch them going by. I took all my expenses. Y'all hear the music? <laughs> I took the uh, all my money that I saved uh, per month and I started like plowing it into the stock market. And what happened was I started getting some really good stock picks that like started exploding out of nowhere because everything was volatile and still is super volatile and end up increasing uh, my bank account. How much do I start? I ain't going to tell you exactly how much, but let's say I, I, in, uh, my bank account went 6x. Yeah, it went about 6x up. Uh, six times what it was than what I started about eight months ago. And oh my God, like all that extra little money that I saved to put into the stock market would have not been possible if I didn't start cutting my small expenses. And now that I cut my large expenses, it is incredible. Just sticking your money in the stocks that you believe in, uh, either uh, short term, because I do day trading also, short term and long term stocks, like uh, Carnival Cruise Line and stuff like that. I have long term ones in Walgreens and CVS and stuff like that. Those stocks, you have to 
like just put your money into them. It's almost even if they don't go up, which most of them do go up, especially for Auburn CVS, they ain't going nowhere. It was this whole like COVID thing, like what what are they gonna do? Like they're gonna start like issuing the shots right there at these places because they already got the the pharmacies right there. They can get the shots right there in the parking lot if they want to. So. Uh, and which they will do, and they they have been doing. I saw some Walgreens already, but uh, with Bites Plan, you know, having it within five miles of everybody, what's in five miles of everybody? Walgreens, and ooh, I'm rocking, rocking now. <laughs> Look at that. Walgreens and CVS is everywhere, so that, of course they're gonna start doing them there, and of course their stock is gonna go up uh, higher than where they are now. So I started applying all my money in the stock market and then my bank account just like went six times as much. And then like what I'm doing right now, I have a couple of stocks that's about to explode, explode, which is gonna increase my bank account by like, what was it, like 12 times what it is right now. And I am definitely just gonna retire. <laughs> I told myself, I was like, I want to retire by like 40. I think I'm going to like move that up to like, because uh, I'm 32 right now. So I think I'm going to move that up. If I get this big hit that like, I think I'm about to get in the next uh, two months, I'm just going to retire probably. I ain't going to completely retire, but you know, I'm going to like stop working, working for at least a year to just kind of like decompress from life and get everything. Um, just to normalize everything and see what normal life is like without the pressure of politics and the pressure of, you know, uh, always trying to make a dollar. You know, it's something that my family have always done and I plan on creating general, I am in a plan of, uh, I have a plan of creating general, general, generational wealth for my family, which is in the process right now. And even with this next big stock deals, uh, stock picks that I have and then some of the other business ventures that I have going on in these next couple of months is going to be uh, a life changing event where it's possible that if I did want to retire uh, based on all my expenses per month that I have, if I took all my expenses per month and doubled them, I would still at this point right now be able to live for like the next four years uh, without having to do any work at all sitting on a boat reading gassing it up eating i can do that for like the next three years without having to do uh, without making another dime which is which is great and that's i want to do that by like 300 fold you know what i mean <laughs> like i'm trying to like be like bezos in them you know um do i need quite that much at this? i would love that much i'm not even gonna say i don't need it i would love that much please put it in my hand put it in my hand but that's that's just the thing that's why i'm out here on this boat right now it's just to you know let's give you like a full view excuse like some of the mess i got coffee and everything i'm still trying to organize everything trying to figure out how to use less space because you know in apartments and in houses you have a lot more space to just put junk in here you don't have much but you have a lot of like places to put everything but i just haven't found out where to put everything because it's my first time living on a boat so my biggest expense i got rid of was my rent no more rent no more utilities none of that stuff that's done um, and i plan on actually getting a bigger boat this right here is a 29 foot so what i want to get uh next is now i already have my own i already saw the one that i want it's a 60 foot boat 60 foot yacht three bedrooms three four bathrooms beautiful so that is my next venture um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna have some fun with that baby <laughs> picture being on the 60 foot yeah you spend a night on there it's like not rocking like this of course it's, it's like you know uh yachts are heavier of course a lot more balance they don't shake as much it's it's really really nice and yeah, i i'm looking forward to showing it to y'all when i um when i finally get it but yeah that's my little uh start of my video for the day i'm gonna start i, I wasn't gonna sit over here on the table but with the sun coming in from the back it made me like super super dark so you couldn't even really see my face uh so i'll probably start shooting these in the evening because then the sun will be there and yeah, somebody's calling me from minnesota anyway that's the end of my video anyway if y'all want to save expenses cut the small ones and then find out how you can cut the large ones by living free 
he, a lot of people I know they're like, oh, like I wish I could live with my parents again and I'll be rent free. I don't want to live with my parents. I want to be rent free. This was the uh, opportunity that I had right here to live free. Got a boat, I, and this is paid in full, so I'm not paying like anything on this per month. And uh, and that was also compliments to saving money, uh, all the small expenses. If I wouldn't have saved those small expenses and had the investments and had the money saved up to buy the boat, I wouldn't be able to live uh, rent free. And it only took me six months to live completely rent free. So uh get on top of it see how you can uh you know get rid of your small expenses and then after you get rid of all your small expenses try and get rid of your large expenses like the ones in the middle uh sometimes like the ones that they're just gonna be there for the rest of your life get rid of small ones get rid of large ones i promise you you'll be such a happy person it's a little stressful in the beginning but everything has a learning curve when you start a new job was ever has a learning curve everything has a learning curve learn how to live frugal so you can live a much better and much more luxurious life this is only the beginning for me right here